we're joined with Nicole Mallet, lead artist at Art at the Centre, and we're talking all about the funding that the Art at the Centre project has recently got. So, Nicole, how long will the project last, and what areas will it cover? Well, um, as I referred to earlier, uh, the uh, the project is for the whole of Swell, um, and everybody is invited to come and be involved but we're primarily there to target the regeneration areas so areas which are in the process of change and major change at that so um, but there isn't a definite plan or route as of yet so um, I can't be specific more specific than that um, in terms of time well we've budgeted for a two-year program uh, that's for the initial all the projects we've mentioned so that we are able to target all the areas and, and achieve all the aims that we've come uh, with the ambition of achieving uh, but in fact because we will have by the by by the uh, commissioning process we will have um, gained the mobile space and the studios paid for outright and we'd own them there is actually obviously the possibility for this to be going on longer beyond the two years uh, because Swarbrick Council owns the land that the studios will be on and also wherever the mobile space will be will be on Swarbrick Council land so there's no mammoth costs apart from actually maintaining these spaces i.e electricity and all of that for them to continue in being so it is highly likely that this is is the start of a, a much longer story of creativity and swell it's not going to just end after two years so um that's that's the good news i mean in, initially the funding and and all the uh, commissions will be happening in this next two years but but there is a, a highly probable chance that it will continue beyond that I understand there will be opportunities for artists. Yes, there will be, and and lots of them. Um, it, on many different levels. Um, initially, at the moment, we're very keen to hear from people who are looking to have a studio. Um, and when we say artists, we also mean um, uh, creative entrepreneurs. So maybe you might not consider yourself artists, but if you were starting up a small business or running, uh, working as a freelancer, designing something, could be websites, could be, could be um, uh, I don't know, uh, computer games, it could be uh, some kind of fabric enterprise, uh, anything that involves creativity. Um, we're also interested to hear from you because it would be very nice to have the studios with a mixture of creative practitioners, not just painters or sculptures. You know, we would like to have people from all walks of life, as it were. So um, that is our first opportunity that um, it, it, it is a very good opportunity to take uh, advantage of. And they, are, as I mentioned earlier, will be based in Coimbra. Um, then obviously there is the commissions that I mentioned earlier um, which are open to everybody to apply to we will be advertising all of them on the um, website for Art at the Centre which is if you go to the Swellborough Council website it's it's a link off that or just go to www.swell.gov.uk slash AATC um, and that will take you straight to it um, but we will also advertise them in, in various artist networks that um, creative practitioners would be familiar with. For example, the Arts Council Arts Jobs listing or AN newspaper. So, um, and also in the local newspaper and with BRFM. So, so if, as long as you pay attention to the news, you, you wouldn't be missing those opportunities. Um, we, as of yet, have to develop the ideas and, and get our steering group together. So um, there won't be any until, say, early January. But, but pay attention because it will be happening shortly. Um, and, that, and also it's worth mentioning that this is going to be ongoing over the two years. So, you know, if you miss the first batch of opportunities, there will be more. So don't worry, it's not a case of all or nothing. We, you know, we intend to make this a really fair process where, you know, everybody has a chance of being involved. And then uh, finally, uh, obviously, when when the mobile space is set up and starts running, there will be the opportunity for exhibitions. Um, so groups of artists or solo artists could come to us with ideas on on projects that they would like to do. Um, 
and in fact you could start doing that now so if you had if you have a burning desire to do something right. mad and it, it and it aligns itself with an area that is in the process of regeneration please do email me um, and let us know about it because we are very keen to to get people's ideas to happen rather than to apply our ideas to people if you see what i mean so yeah by all means just co um, come in contact with me um uh, my email is nicole mollett that's m-o-l-l-e-t-t uh, that's all one word uh, at swale.gov.uk um, and it's also on the art at the center website so there's plenty of of links to my connection and yeah just send me your ideas for projects please Will there be more workshops? Yes, there will. Um, we intend uh, to engage the community as much as possible. So with every installation or, or, or project idea, we want to not just connect with the creative people on the island, but also people who might not consider themselves artists, but get people start to try and be creative. Yep. So um, there will be many different layers of workshops from you know completely amateur to advanced um we'll do stuff for for young children um and yeah just again it will depend on where the mobile space will be and where where we're focused on but we we intend to run as many across well as possible um Nicole, could you just go over your useful contact details for our listeners? Again? Sure. Um, okay. Uh, my email is Nicole Mollett at swale.gov.uk, um, and you can phone me on o triple seven zero six four zero six nine two. Um, but yeah, check out our website at www.swale.gov.uk slash AATC. Um, if you're not aware of the project, it's useful to familiarise yourself with what we've been doing before you know you come up with your ideas because then it might inform what you want to do basically nick i'd like to thank you very much thank for you. keeping us up to date about art at the center here at the monday night community show great thank you very much